Hello, and welcome to another video by ES Repair. I am your host, Mr. Fixit. In this video, I am going to walk you as to how to revert back to your previous operating system. Now, for those of you uh, who upgraded from Windows 7 or from Windows 8.1 to Windows 10, I'm sure that some of you may not like the operating system. Now there has been reports and I've been getting a lot of questions about Windows 10. Uh, one of those is the concern as to uh, Windows 10's ability to upgrade your computer automatically. Now as I've shown you before in previous videos of upgrading to Windows 10 that it gave you an option um, if you want to install or if you don't. Or if you decide to install you can tell it uh, set a schedule as to when to install it. But unfortunately I have been getting reports and questions about the upgrade because a lot of the people have been telling me that their computer just upgraded to Windows 10 the next day uh, without their consent or their knowledge. Now you'll notice that a lot of you probably don't like Windows 10. Uh, right now it's split down the middle, half like it, other half don't. Um, if you watched my previous video uh, when I showed you how to upgrade to Windows 10, uh, I did let you know that you did have 30 days to decide if you want to keep Windows 10. If not, you can revert back to your previous operating system. For instance, the computer here that I'm using had Windows 7 on it. And as I mentioned before, it does create a backup of the original uh, operating system. Now, if you're like some people, uh, like I do, uh, every now and then you clean up temporary files and delete junk, things like that. Um, if you do that on a regular basis, one of the things you want to keep in mind is not to delete any of the Windows upgrade or installation files. Uh, which here I'll show you in just a second. Now, on this screen, I am showing you the um, Windows um, root directory, which is on Drive C. Uh, this is where all the subfolders originate. Now, as you can see here, uh, this shows you a list of folders. If you take a closer look to the bottom, you'll see where it says Windows Old. This right here. Now this is the backup that I told you about Windows 10 created during the upgrade process. This is the old backup. Now whatever you do uh, it is going to take up a lot of space. Under no circumstances do you want to delete this folder. Do not delete it. Because if you decide that you don't want Windows 10 within 30 days, it uses this information to revert back to the previous operating system. So again, do not delete the folder if you uh, intend that you might go back to the previous operating system. When you run, if you run disk cleanup, which a lot of people do, they use this to utility to clean up a lot of temporary files that I've shown in previous versions of my videos and it comes in handy so you can delete all your temporary files help free up space especially if you got a lot of space that uh, can be cleared up. Now you'll notice on here that it does show all of the um, temporary folders how much space there is. Um, as you go down the list you'll see one in particular. This one which is the installation this is one thing you do not want to delete. In order to revert back from Windows 10 to your earlier version of Windows, whether it's Windows 7 or Windows 8.1, do not delete this installation files. Otherwise, you are stuck with Windows 10. It is very important that you do not delete this for at least 30 days. 
Once the 30 days arrives, Windows 10 should automatically delete this. Now, uh, once we get this started, I'm going to show you how to revert back to your previous operating system. Uh, as you can see here, there's a bunch of other stuff here. Not a whole lot, but this one here, as you can see, does take up a lot of space. Now, you can clean everything else up if you want. Just be sure not to clean the Windows, uh, the previous Windows installation files. That's crucial. Now, starting from your desktop, what you'll do first is you'll click on your Windows Start button right here in the lower left. And then you'll come to the third one from the bottom that says Settings. Now, it's going to bring this window up. And you may have to expand it so you can see all these all the settings. If you look in the lower left side here, it shows update and security. Uh, this is where your security and Windows updates and all that takes place. What you'll do is click on it. Now, once we're in the window here, what you'll do next is go under recovery. Recovery is where you can reset your PC and you can also do advanced startup. Uh, it's earlier like the versions of Windows 8 to where you had to hold the shift key down and press restart or click restart. Or in like Windows 7 you had to hold down the F8 key during boot up. Now if you'll look closely the second option says go back to Windows 7. Now, if your computer has this option, then it is possible to go back to the previous version. If it's not there, then you're unable to go back to the previous operating system. Either it's been over 30 days, or you deleted the temporary files that I showed you not to delete. Um, that's what allows you to go back to your previous operating system. Now, that we chose a note, we don't want 10, I want it off, I want to go back to 7, or in your case it may be 8.1. What you'll do here is click Go Back to Windows 7. And it's going to get things ready to revert back to Windows 7. Now, you're going to see this message here, and it's going to want to know why uh, you're going back to your previous uh, uh, operating system. And it gives you a couple of um, options. Uh, your apps and devices don't work in 10. Um, Windows 7 seemed easier to use, uh, seemed faster, seemed more reliable, or you could choose for other reason. Now, I know a lot of you will probably put on there that it sucks or it's bad, or um, what I would do is put like, oh, well, it upgraded without my consent. Uh, you know, give them the real reason why you're giving it back. And don't just put stupid stuff in there because that doesn't help anything. Uh, just tell them why you're, you're wanting to go back. Now for here I'm just going to say uh, demo because I just want to let them know why I'm doing this which is typical. I'm just doing this as a demo. Uh, if there's other reasons than what shows here, then you can just select for another reason and just tell them why you're wanting to uh, re uh, remove back. Now you click Next. Now it will give you an option to try for latest updates. Now you can try checking for new updates, but I'm sure most of you probably don't care about the updates. You just want to go back to your previous operating system. So you can just go ahead and choose no thanks. Now this is information as to what you'll need to know before you revert. Now it will take a while. You won't be able to use your PC until this uh, re uh, process is complete. Now after going back you'll have to reinstall some programs because all it did was uh, revert Windows 7. Now you may have to reinstall them. Uh, you will lose any changes that were made uh, to the operating system after the upgrade. So if there was n any new software that was installed, any new updates that were installed, you will lose those changes. 
All this is is a backup of the operating system before the upgrade. Now you want to make sure that your files are backed up as I have showed you when you do the upgrade. Be sure to back up those files so in case you go back to Windows previous version you can still back, uh, restore those files. Now if you did use a password in the Windows 7 you make sure that you know the password because you are going to need it to get back into Windows 7. And then choose next. Now of course they're going to give you the uh, appreciation for trying out Windows 10. Uh, this is why they give you a 30 day trial. And then choose go back to Windows 7. Now the computer is going to restart and begin the process. Now as you can see here, the uh, original Windows logo that you were on is now appearing. Now as you can see your previous operating system is now starting up and here we go. Now as you can see we're back to the uh, Windows 7 operating system. Uh, it's, an, it's a simple task. Um, it does create the backup just keep in mind, you know, if you're going to try out Windows 10 for 30 days, that's fine. Just be sure do not delete those installation files that I showed you under Disk Cleanup. Uh, don't let any cleaning software delete those files because they are crucial in case you decide to go back to win your previous version of Windows. And this is how you can revert back from Windows 10. Keep in mind you do have 30 days. Uh, if you decide to uh, go back to previous operating system, now you know how to do it. And as I said, it's a simple task to do. Keep in mind that you may have to reinstall some of your programs uh, back onto the computer. But as far as your data files co are concerned, uh, they should still all be there. Well, I'm your host, Mr. Fixit. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, for a lot of those, a lot of you who have been having some difficult times with Windows 10. If you have any questions, uh, just let me know. I'll be around and I will try to answer them as soon as I can. Well, thank you for watching this video. I'm your host, Mr. Fixit. Thank you for watching.